So guys, we are back with some tower mods today, and this one is a really interesting one. It's called the Robot Monkey. A machine designed after the monkey race to maximize balloon bomb power. Upkeep requires life to be sacrificed to power the Robot Monkey. So this is a very interesting concept for a tower. Basically, you have to keep feeding lives into it in order for it to do damage. So let's drop it right over here. Should mention this is a pretty old mod. Thanks, Zukoix, for it, making it. But yeah, it was released a few months ago, but didn't get around to it till now. But you know, you know the saying. Better late than even later. Also on top of that, I should mention that there is another thing on the side. Another tower that was added to this mod called the Life Farm. Basically, because this thing takes so many lives to keep, you know, keep power with. I think right now, just base 000 Ro Monkey takes away 5 lives per you see this. Use the ability, and we see we drop to 95. And there are arc roots to it. Uh, middle path, I believe, that requires less up upkeep. So I'll buy this. That means next ability will be only 4. Only 4 lives to use. And you see, it's pretty damn powerful, isn't it? As should be expected, even though it's only 850, the fact that it costs 5 lives for it to be uh, this powerful kind of, kind of feels like the power of, what, a turbocharged monkey? But also, it shoots straight, not like a, not like a boomerang. So, like a Kylie. Also, I did make it so that the removals are free in this challenge editor game. Also, I should mention that I have a tech bot enabled too. Because that would allow me to not have to keep spamming this ability over and over and over again. That being said, I think before I go for tech bot, because it costs money in this in this mod, I need to go for a life farm. Because I'm already on 87, and that, that's not good. I could buy this upgrade to make it one life only. Actually, I will, I will. That's probably more efficient than going for a life farm. But for now, I'm gonna have to manually activate the ability. Considering this is the only tower on the field that does damage, yes. This is your, your, your monkey, I did admit, does no damage. But because it's the only monkey doing damage, yeah, I gotta I gotta keep using it. Luckily, one life is pretty good, so it looks like, yeah, we for every row monkey, middle path, cross path would be pretty important. Unless, you know, lives don't matter if you have a bajillion lives, but we're not at that point yet, so I think for now, uh, yeah, which one do we want to look at first? Which path? I think top path, why not? Should mention this is a fully a fully custom designed tower tower mod. So with three paths, five upgrades, including a paragon, but I think it's a little bit too expensive for me to afford in this run here, so maybe another time. But let's just use the ability. Yeah, fully fleshed out tower mod. Let's take a look at each upgraded time. So top path, beams become more powerful, dealing plus two damage. How much damage does it do right now? Looks like it's, uh, well, it shoots multiple boomerangs per shot. I believe each of them doing one damage each, but lots of pierce. So I think two damage is, that's actually pretty good, isn't it? Well, let's buy it and see what happens, yeah. We're now one-shotting the yellows. Before I go for anything else, let's go for a tech bot now, and link it up to this guy. Feels like the, the cooldown for this is really short, so it seems like every 30 seconds you have to recharge. Right now we're on fast forward, so it's kind of hard to see. But yeah, I would say it looks like 30 to 45 seconds, somewhere around that mark. Let's see what top path number 2 does. Knockback, beams, knock blooms backwards on the track. Well, let's get it. Unfortunately, you can't see much of it. its power right now because it's literally one shot in the balloon. The balloons aren't strong enough to be knocked back. It also seems like tier 3 is really expensive, 11.8k, so I think we should just get farming in the meanwhile while we're uh, chilling with this robot monkey. I mean, based on what we're seeing right now, it should survive to at least, I don't know, round 40. Oh, so you see that? Yep. Finally, balloon's weak enough to be knocked back. Albeit, for a very brief moment, because, yeah. Because then you just got one shot right after afterwards. Unfortunately, there's no camo. It's okay, I'll buy it later. Right now, I want to go with Marketplace, because it's like the best of both worlds. You can get lives and money. I believe the life farm only gives lives, so I don't really want to spend too much money on, you know... Just upkeep on this guy. Plus, I think the the one life per round is probably enough to keep us keep us afloat for now. So that's good. Okay, looks like there's one weakness with our robe monkey. It's that as you see, it can't lead. So let me just buy a AMD for it then. I guess marketplace will have to hold for a little bit longer. God damn it! But yeah, not to mention we still got to give a camo. So uh, I guess there's a trade off for it doing so much damage. No camo, no lead. Got to give a lot of support to it. Also, it seems like we're dying to round 35 here. Holy crap. Well, 
Looks like we should upgrade soon. I don't know if I can afford Quad Shot, though, so... Or rather, Robot, Robot Rage, so... I might need to buy this. And in fact, just look in the description. Robot Rage. Robot starts to become enraged with the balloon, dealing more damage to process. Holy crap, that upkeep. 20 lives. Also, I gotta get Camo ASAP. Right now, my only Camo is a Dart Monkey. Quickly. We should be alive after this, so... I think we're okay for now, but yeah. This is not looking good. Down to 30 lives. I don't think Quad Shot has more upkeep right now. That's good. We'll get this next for sure then. But yeah, honestly so far, I'm pretty impressed with this Terra mod. It looks legit. It totally looks like something that could be in the game. Very well made. I guess the only problem I see it having though, if it did get, become like, you know, a real Terra in the game, is that it'd be kind of used as a Chimps mode, and Chimps mode is pretty... Pretty important in the grand scheme of things. Although, honestly, the concept looks really interesting, so... Uh, I feel like maybe a tower that is uh, revolved around maybe it costs you money to have good upkeep... Might be a more realistic option. Let's go Quad Shot now, by the way. And see how it does against a Moab. Alright, how's this Moab damage? Looking pretty decent, yeah. Definitely decent with all those layers. All those shots. I guess we're looking at the middle path then, since top path is a little too expensive and costs too many lives. For the meanwhile, so Hexashot. Robot now sees the potential in shooting 6 beams instead of 4. Wait a minute, is that really worth it for 16k? Isn't it more worth it to get more 230s? Maybe it's telling us less stuff than this thing actually does. I would assume the boomerang, you know, the boomerangs do more damage because of it. So I guess we'll wait till then. Also, it doesn't look like you can really sustain the top path of Monkey if we only go Marketplace. So I think I will just upgrade this, this more. More lives, let's get the 8 lives around, uh, 50 lives around, alright. Yeah, this is probably gonna be pretty important, but I don't have enough money right now. I gotta actually kinda try hard this game. Huh. So let's get Marketplace for more money. While we're chilling with this Robo Monkey. But back to what I was saying earlier, uh, I do think it would be a nice addition if we had something similar to this concept as a tower in the game. Because none of the current towers have any of that, although I do think there's a power that is kind of similar in the Energizing Totem. You know, the Totem that costs Monkey Money to keep up. But, you know, you can't use Monkey Money chimps either. So, it's kind of worthless. In fact, I barely used powers in the first place, so... Never had much use in using the Energizing Totem, but, you know, something like that as a tower. Maybe not even a full tower, maybe just, like, part of an upgrade of a tower. Could... Could spice the game up, I feel like. Or maybe even as a hero. Well, I guess we have a Zeely kind of, like, the Totem that... costs one life per per use, but I, I guess we're talking about, like, you know, buffing a single tower in that regard. Also, Azili is based on life, so, again, can't, she can't really be used. Uh, that totem can't really be used in Chimp, sadly. But yeah, I think it's time to start upgrading the uh, Robo Monkey. It's kind of fall behind around 50 here. I think a he Hexa Shot next would be really nice. Although, I do want to keep getting more of these, because uh, 8 lives around, we're still only at 100. Actually, oh crap, I did a, I did an oopsie, guys. I think I capped the max lives this challenge at, at 100. So, in that case... I still might be fine. I still might be fine, as long as I have enough lives to regenerate... Every round. Like, every round's usage. As long as we don't, also don't, you know, have the round drag on for minutes at a time. Because this is basically time-based. If, if the round lasts longer... Then, you're gonna need more of these life arms to... Uh, make up for that. Alright, here is Sector Shot. Let's see how much difference it makes. And yeah, um, is it is it doing better? A lot better? I don't think so. Feels like it's just six out of four, but the same damage, which I got ripped off, guys. In fact, Deca Shot might be a rip off. Ten over six. Yeah, it's ten over six, but I mean efficiency wise, I don't I don't know. I don't know. It does feel like the rings have a little more pierce than before, though. So maybe it is telling us less than what the upgrade actually does. That being said, I think I'll upgrade to Life Factory now, and we'll look at the top path while we're uh, while we're trying to save up for uh, Tier 5. I'll do multiple Robo Monkeys because, you know, there are 15 upgrades and 3 paths, so one tower can't can't possibly cover 3 of them. So, Robo Rage, I think it's time to get it. Let's buy it, and let's use the ability. I didn't tech body yet, just because it used up a lot of lives, see? Wait, was it minus 25? Oh yeah, yeah, plus 20 because it was already 5, so let's, uh, let's do minus 4, so now it's 21 upkeep. And it's hard to see the damage there since this thing was in the way. Maybe I should move this guy to the front first, but either way, I think it's, yeah, I think it did do a lot of damage. 
I'll look again next time there's a lot of, a lot of blow-ins. In the meantime, let's look at the next one. Robot Rampage. Even more damage, I think. Yes, plus 20 if keep. So, uh, basically, how many lives is it per round? Or per use? 45 minus 4, 41. Yeah, that means with only 100 lives max, we can only use the ability twice during a round. So, I, I think I'll just leave this on Tech-Botted. Only it, use it when I absolutely have to. Like, maybe we'll showcase it, the ability against these two BFBs here. So, let's go. How quickly does it drop? Eh, it doesn't seem to be... It does a lot of damage, but it shoots pretty slowly. I think Hexashot outdamages it. It's hard to really tell, though. Alright, and I think it's time to uh, try out Robot Rampage. Definitely a good candidate this round. A lot of BFBs back here, so... Let's wait for them all to be in range and then unload. I believe it's, again, 41 lives to use. Let's get it. And, oh, yeah, that's a lot. It's a lot of damage, a lot of peers. That's just gonna wipe out those BFBs here. And I think we'll have it for round 76 too, so we can see just how much damage it does. Yeah, mine. Oh, yeah, one shot to Sramps, too. Even better. And now we can't use it anymore because it's, uh, it's off. Well, we'll just wait till the next one. Now, holy crap, 91k. Um, Robotic Revenge. Let's see what this Gear 5 has. The Robot Monkey now craves revenge on the balloons using even more power, but dealing an insane amount of damage. Plus 55 upkeep. So, quick math, that's 96 lives, which is basically all of our max lives, which is uh, gonna be a concern. I assume the mod won't let you use the ability if you're gonna die because of it. So, yeah, um, I gotta make sure to punish 100 lives every, every round then, if I wanna at least use it, you know, during a round. I think I might just do another life factory. This one gives 200 a round, this next upgrade, but I think it's overkill, so we'll just go for uh, another life factory. And that'll basically replenish us to max every round. Well, hopefully for now, this uh, fourth tier can hold its own. It barely is. Come on, beat this BFB here. I think I'll upgrade to a deck shot first. Yeah, we definitely need some consistent, consistent damage that doesn't cost a lot. So this one life will be really good. ZMG time. Actually, I'm not sure this guy has enough damage. I'll just up activate this to help out because again, we replenish the max every round, so it's not really a problem if I do use his ability just once. And round 80, nicely done. Yeah, we're struggling to 81 here, so let's activate Robot Rampage again. And we should be safe. Actually, no, it's kind of struggling. Alright, well, I guess we'll have to buy some more upgrades then. I guess we can use this opportunity to see what the bottom path row monkey has for us. So let me just uh, hold on. Village buff this guy over here. And uh, yeah. Robo range. More range. Camo sensors. See camo. All right. Artificial intelligence. Robot monkey sees more mole pawn power or gains mole pawn power. It can now hit every type of balloon but has more upkeep. Okay, so I think... I guess minus four upkeep isn't a lot when you have to add so much upkeep. So I guess we'll cross path with more damage and knockback too. Why not? Let's use the ability, and yeah. Yeah, mob damage seems kind of decent to me. That's quite a bit for only a 5k tower, I'd say. And in fact, it's enough to, uh, I think, get us through this round without even needing to use this guy. So, wow. That was definitely a good purchase then. Well, let's see what Bond Path Tier 4 has, Len. Robot Sentience. Robot Monkey has gained the ability of Complex Thought. Now attacks faster and deals more mob damage. So this is basically, yeah, the mob damage path. Top path is basically just general damage. So mob and ceramics with a lot of upkeep. And middle path is a cheap option, but also does uh, decent damage. Now I think we're really close to Deku Shot, so let's just get it. And I would assume we'll do more damage with the rings, more pierce. It's not just four extra rings on top of this. There we have it. Yeah, and the cool thing is that we can just leave these guys off and just let this guy go to town. And it certainly seems to go into town against these ceramics. Just absolutely melting them in one shot here. Same with 84, pretty much. Annihilating this wave of moabs and BFPs too, yep. Oh yeah, this thing is definitely... This is this is value right here, folks. This is value. We're getting a lot out of it. For pretty much no cost whatsoever. I suppose it is time to buy Robot Sentience now, so let's get it. And what is the last one? Hive Mind? Towers in range of the Hive Mind gain greatly increased attack speed, so plus 10 upkeep. Okay. So is this like a permanent attack speed buff? Interesting. It doesn't cost a lot either. But the thing is, again, because I messed up and cap lives 100, I cannot use this during the round, or I can't use both of these during a round, because I won't have 96 lives for this one. Alright, let's get Hive Mind now and see what it does. 
What does it do? I, think we, I, I assume we have to use the ability first to get the buff. Let's use it. And... Uh, and... Uh, I guess there's no icon. But... No, that definitely is shooting faster, for sure. For sure, right? It's small damage is definitely nothing to scoff at, either. Absolutely not a joke. I actually kind of wonder if the attack speed's already baked into the upgrade, so like, I don't have to keep using the ability for it to shoot faster. Did you see there? I used the ability. I don't think it really shot any faster, but it was kind of hard to tell there. I think the only way to know is, like, by selling the tower or shinooking it. I'll do that instead. It's probably easier. Probably easier instead of having to sell the tower and lose all, all that money. But yeah, it looks like even without using any of these, we can just shred 98. What the hell? Let me move the ability out of range now, see if it drops in attack speed at all. Oh no, it definitely dropped in attack speed. Watch 99 here. Yeah, that's that's much slower. So it looks like it's a passive buff that this thing gives. This Bond Path Hive Mind. And it looks like because it's out of range for this round, I'm gonna have to use the Robo Rampage. Hopefully it's enough to take us over the edge. Let's use it now. Go, 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 go. Oh yeah, that's definitely enough to make a difference. Cool, cool, cool. And let's wait for round 100 here and see uh, how we can do. Let's use the Hive Mind, because why not? How is that mold damage? Yeah. 200 per shot. I think that definitely will add up over time. In fact, I can even Chinook it to buff these towers right now. Go, go, go. Before it gets in range, and we should be able to beat this just fine here, yeah. Man, that attack bonus is nuts. And about time, we have enough money for Robotic Revenge, so let's get it. And I have 99 lives, so why don't I just use it? Go, go, go. Go to town those BFPs. Couldn't really tell how well it did there, because it it disappeared so quickly. I'll use it now. Yeah, maybe I'll... S let me untech bot for just one round. And just have this guy be the damage, damage dealer. Go to town. And... Oh, what? It's so bad. You gotta be kidding me. That was not what I expected. A World War Deca shot, which costs one life, is better than something that takes away 99. Alright then. Alright, so a, a bit slight unbalance on this one, also. I think there's a little bit bug with Challenge Editor in that if you restart the last round, then the uh, Road Monkey, even though it is currently being used uh, on cooldown, the game doesn't memorize that, so we're stuck. Alright, Solver should get us through this stupid bug. And uh, once it's up again, I can get rid of it. Cool. Crisis averted. Yeah, we're at that point in the game now where uh, the Deca cannot solo on its own. So we're gonna have to have Robotic Revenge on top of it. But it's just it's such a shame that it doesn't it doesn't actually do as much as I expected. I thought it was gonna be like Paragon levels of damage for 90k. Honestly, I think that the hive mind with its mold damage is probably more useful than the ro robotic revenge, just because I can keep using it multiple times around and takes away less. And it does what this guy lacks in mold damage. Granted, mold damage is pretty good from what I saw. It just gets overwhelmed if there's too many of them. Yeah, Fortified DTs are nasty, so let's use the ability, both of them, and there we go. There we go. That's looking much better now. Alright, and the hardest round of them all, 119. Uh, gotta use this ability right now. And yeah, that's pretty good mob damage. So, uh, maybe I was, uh... Maybe I wasn't seeing things right, or maybe the pierce is really low in this robotic revenge. But that mob damage is nuts. Maybe I should hold my horses on that, then... But yeah, we beat it, and that will be the Robot Monkey Showcase. Again, a very cool tower. Definitely one of the better tower mods that I've seen around. So again, shouts out to Zookoix for the creation of this one. And if you want to see more tower mods, then make sure to subscribe. Because there's definitely a lot that I have not covered yet, and I am quite behind on. So thank you for watching, and as usual, we'll see you all next time.